All right, welcome back. Patty Spitler is here, brought to you by Pet Pals TV. But some uh, really big dogs here today as well. I know these guys came in. The Great Pyrenees and the founder of Indy Great Pyrenees Rescue as well, Jane Rose, joins us here. First, I want to talk about your other job right now. I've seen some urns here. Uh, you are involved with the uh, a funeral director and certified uh, pet loss professional. That's correct. What does that mean? Uh, well, I'm I have a business called Rose Pet Memorial Center. So as a uh, certified pet loss professional that means that I've had to go through a number of courses as well as get a certification it takes two years for the certification to ethically treat pets that are entrusted to me okay. and you know do what I say I'm going to do so when somebody entrusts their pet to me that means that they're getting exactly what they want which is their pet taken care of lovingly and they're getting their pet back it's such yeah, an emotional moment as well Kitty, yeah what is that it. She passed after like 19 years, former feral. Wow. And I've known Jane for a long time. And he helped me with my Louie, too, my, yes, my dog Louie. Sweet so, uh, you know, you need someone. Need, it's a little grieving process, and, and it's nice to get the kitty back, and she does a nice job. So uh, think about her for that. And then, if you want a great Pyrenees, always say, know your breed. Know what you're getting. Yeah, now, these, these guys are uh, big, dog. big dogs. That's they are sure. big dogs, and they work at the uh, pet funeral home. They're comfort dogs. Okay. So when people come in, they uh, actually help them by doing this kind of thing. And we have two cats who work there, too. The cats stay at the oh, funeral yeah, we home. Oh, yeah, got some pictures about and, that, too. Uh, this is Sugar and Sand. See, I, I was saying when I, when I came over here, it looks like I've got a, uh, a white lab. It looks just like a white lab, except obviously <laughs> a lot more hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is the fluffy lab. Uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> and tell us about the breed. Now, they were they, initially, their instinct is to guard livestock, right? They were initially used to guard livestock in the Pyrenees Mountains between France and Spain. Okay. And uh, today, they more commonly are house pets or people have them on farms. Right. The big thing about them is they have to have a fence or they roam away. They, oh, uh, yes. they like to roam really, they and do. they can go five miles in an hour. And I, and I understand, like, it, it, giving them up for adoption, a lot of folks uh, just abandon these. these well, they don't know they're going to get that big. I mean, for heaven's sake, you can at least Google. Oh, here's, is this Sam or? With that's Sugar and Tommy. Oh, look at that. That's at the, the <laughs> memorial. Yeah, center. that's Sugar and her friend. Oh, Tommy. and, There's and you they and have I. a place you can go in. To grieve a little that's bit. That's a sanctuary, and that's Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> but but people can obviously um, adopt these uh, these dogs. Yes. Yeah, so Indy Great Pyrenees Rescue we founded in uh, 2002, and uh, that kind of led us into creating the Pet Memorial Center because I wasn't finding anywhere that I liked the options available to me as a pet parent. Right. And if people are going to adopt the Great Pyrenees, there's some things they should know, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And sh you should know they're going to get you know, and they may bark. Yes, they're they barkers. do bark. You were bark? Are you a bark? I haven't heard of bark at all. <laughs> well, they're pretty. This isn't oh. their territory. <laughs> <laughs> and and you know that, that in big dogs, you, there's food and there's more food coming out. And, and then all the things that you're getting and, into, and, you know. so you can take care of it for life. Right. Well, and and don't have a lot of black pants, right? That's right. <laughs> or if you do, make them slippy, <laughs> slicky. <laughs> and so if, if folks want to go in and uh, adopt one, where yes. should they go? Uh, IGPR.org. That's our website, and we have all our available dogs on there as well as uh, uh, the application to either be a foster parent or to adopt. Yeah, uh -oh. it's good to have a little bit of room. Yeah, you're gonna have these dogs. You just need an air conditioner and a couch. Right. <laughs> and a fenced in area. It's probably yes. be a, but a you know, idea. a big dog makes you look smaller. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a big dog. Oh, here we go. Oh, How's it going? Here we go. Here goes the hair all over the suit. All right, if you want more information, you got that on your screen. You saw uh, where to get that information if you want to adopt one of these. Big dogs. <laughs> Look at this. Dog good. Talk. And uh, don't forget, you can watch Pet Pals TV Saturdays, 10:30 a.m. right here on Wish TV. You can go to uh, PetPalsTV.com for the latest information. Jane, Patty, good to see Thank you both. You. Thanks Thank for coming. You. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. You're going to uh, have to explain this to your dog now. When you go home. <laughs> oh, he'll smell it when I get oh, home. Oh yeah. Right, he'll be like, where, where were you? What were you doing? <laughs> you were supposed to be at work. You're supposed to be at home. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right, Randy, let's toss it over to you. All right, Kevin.